We can say also a single dose of NBMI given after injection of lethal doses of mercury chloride prevented toxicity and death. That tells you how fast it binds it because you know you can take it every day, but you only need to take it once. It gets in your bloodstream, circulates, and it ties up all the existing mercury that's floating around in your body that's going to cause you problems later on. I mean, to stop 15 times a lethal dose of mercury from having you to have a major effect, it tells you that the compound is very effective and it, it doesn't take a lot of it. So I think that people who need to be treated for mercury toxicity with small, I mean, um, can take this for short periods of time, say 10 days if they're worried about it. I think that'll be enough to clean them up. <clears throat> and we've shown that NBMI does this by entering cells of all tissues, binding mercury and re rendering it non-toxic. It doesn't do it by getting the mercury out of the body that fast, because it doesn't. It does it rather slowly, but it, it renders it non-toxic. And that is very similar to what you see with the selenium. Selenium binds mercury, reduces its toxicity, makes an insoluble complex, and mercury, selenium does build up in your body because there's no place on selenium for you to put a hydroxyl group for the P450 system. You can't, if it gets formed, there's no, no process in the body that will get it out of your brain or out of your liver. And I like selenium, selenium is fine. And people who uh, do mining uh, in, these, there was a study done on Ecuador, no, Yugoslavian miners. And what they found is they, they breathed a lot of mercury. If they took birds or rats in their mine, they died very quickly from mercury toxicity, but the men didn't. And they found out, or at least a proposal, they, they said they found out, that the cause was they had a high selenium diet that they ate every day, and that the mercury that got into their brain uh, was uh, bound, uh, and their mercury levels in the brain went up dramatically. But for every atom of mercury in their brain, there was an atom of selenium that rendered it non-toxic and prevented the toxic effects. That's a, a good publication. It's quite old now, though. Uh, so I think this is what the NBMI does.